Bible describes it as a place of everlasting fire, a place of torment, a place of weeping and gnashing of teeth, where souls are tormented day and night forever. Join us as we share to you vital information that you should know. Revelations that will stun you. Plus, listen to the terrifying screams that scientists heard as they were drilling to what they believed are the gates of hell. This is not a horror story. This is reality. Be prepared to discover that hell is real. Christians and non-Christians often have questions about life after death, and very often, the questions are the same. What happens when a Christian dies? Is he conscious or unconscious? Will there be reunion in heaven with their loved ones? Will those in heaven sorrow over loved ones who are in hell? What is it really like to be in heaven? From the makers of Hell is Real comes a special documentary on this side of eternity. This is not a fairy tale story. This is reality. Know the answers to your questions and discover that heaven is real. Mark na 666, hindi ka pwedeng bumili o magbili. Sa panahon din pong ito, wala pong makakapag-business na walang tatak. 2,000 years ago, the Bible foretold of these events. Amazingly, they're being fulfilled in the smallest detail before our very eyes. Naniniwala po ako na ang paghubog ng cashless society ay paraan upang eventually magkaroon ng kontrol sa mundo si Antichrist. Kapag wala ng cash at lahat ng transaction ay gagawin na lang through the bank, internet, and networks of computers, mas madali nang makokontrol o matetrace ang bawat tao. Sino mang may hawak ng sistemang ito, magkakaroon sila ng information tungkol sa buhay ng isang tao. Saan nagsya shopping, ano-ano ang binibili. There is no doubt the rapid increase in technology that we see. The internet, GPS, surveillance cameras, electronic identification, chip cards, national ID cards, is preparing the way for 666. And it's something we need to know. Something we shouldn't ignore. Ang ibig pong sabihin nito, yung control ni Satan nasa mundo na talaga. From the makers of Hell is Real comes the special documentary on the future of money. You will know where we have been. Noong unang panahon, tinatawag itong barter. And where we are going. Well, I'm planting humans with microchips. Tiny implants loaded with their personal information. Doctors in our area are now recommending medical chip implants that they say could save your life. Tonight, the great lengths people are going to to implant radio frequency identification chips in their bodies. The mark of the beast system in the future is slowly happening. The FDA approved Verichip implants in humans last year. Everything is being set up. Bakit kailangan pang ibaon ang mga chips na ito? And we are closer than we think. Napakarami ng evidence. It is undeniable. Be prepared. 
4666 is real. Nung minsan, nakot ang attention ko sa isang fisherman na ini-interview sa TV. Parang naduro bang heart ko nung sinabi niyang walong oras siyang nakababad sa laot at initan, ngunit walong maliliit na isda lamang ang ipinakita niyang nahuli niya. Habang nagsasalita siya, nababasa ko sa mata niya ang lungkot at kawalan ng pag-asa. Nagihimutok siya sapagkat wala siyang mahagilap na tulong para yung mga mayayamang may-ari ng mga malalaking cages o fish pen ay makonsyensya at magising na ang Diyos ang may-ari ng dagat at ito ay para sa kapakinabangan ng lahat. Sa sobrang burden ko sa kanilang dalawa, lumabas sa isip ko ang maraming katanungan. Ang una, alam kaya nila na darating na ang Panginoong Yesus? Aware ba sila na ang mga signs na inihula sa Bible sa pagdating ng Panginoon ay nangyayari na? na burden po ako sapagkat yung mahihirap na fisherman sa sobrang kahirapan, ang mundo niya ay parang umiikot na lamang sa number one niyang concern, ang makahuli ng isda everyday para mabuhay. Paano pa kaya niya iisipin at paghahandaan ang pagdating ng Panginoon? Mabibigyan pa kaya niya ng panahon mag-aral ng salita ng Diyos? Yung mayayaman naman na umaagaw ng opportunity sa mahihirap para makahuli at mabuhay ng mas mabuti-buti. Alam kaya nila na hindi sila bubuhayin at isesave ng dami at laki ng mga cages nila. Alam kaya nila na kahit okupahin nila ang buong dagat at makuha ang lahat ng yaman nito, baliwala lahat ito. Kapag dumating na ang Panginoong Yesus anytime, nakasama ang hustisya niya. Ang dalawang uri ng mangingis ng ito ang sumasalamin sa dalawang uri ng tao sa mundo, ang mahirap at ang mayaman. Ano man po kayo rito, ang documentary ito ay buong puso naming hinahandog gawa ng pagmamahal namin. Senyo. Ang sabi po mismo ng Panginoong Hesus, darating siya na hindi inaasahan at walang nakakaalam. Kung hindi ang ama lamang, Jesus said in Matthew 24, 36 and 44, But of that day and hour, no one knows, not even angels of heaven, but my Father only. Therefore, you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Si Jesus na ang nagpromise, darating siya sa time na hindi natin inaasahan. Ibig sabihin, Pwede ngayon bisik.